guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I am finally filming the long-awaited nursery tour video. I wanted to hop on here for a quick intro. I will try to list everything down below where I purchased it from and other details about the room the best that I can if the item is still available and still up for purchasing. Some of these pieces were handed down to me. A lot of them I bought myself. And I am so proud of this room. It makes me so happy to be in here. It's honestly the vision that I had created from the beginning when I knew that I was having a little girl. And I'm ready to share it with the world. So if you guys want to see my daughter's nursery tour, then just keep on watching. So I guess we'll start with her dresser and changing table area. So I did get the Decor Plus diaper pail and it is hands-free and you just kind of throw the diaper down in there. I did decide to use regular trash bags just to save a little bit of money, but I went with gray and white. You'll see a lot of the decor in here is either gray or white just because I didn't want anything to clash. The rug I got from at home and this is the Ikea Hems dresser. This is honestly my favorite piece in here. It's so nice. And then this is what the top of the dresser looks like. I did get this sign for my baby shower. Sometimes when I need a miracle, I look into my daughter's eyes and realize I already created one. I love that sign so much. And then on top, I do have these bins that I got from the Target Dollar Spot section. This has all of her shoes in here. Um, these are newborn shoes, little booties, soft bottom shoes that they can wear because technically babies don't really need to be in shoes or they don't like shoes. They, they pretty much just wear socks. <laughs> so I have some extras up there. And then these are the three pairs that I like a lot that I just have out on display. And then I did get this changing pad from Amazon. And then on top, I have the Munchkin waterproof liner and one of these changing pad covers from Till You Brand. And then again, another basket. I think these were under $5, but I do have all of her extra headbands and bows and hats. Believe it or not, this girl has like a hundred bows <laughs> and hats, so. She has plenty in both of these bins. I'm not gonna go into detail too much about this mirror. I did make this myself. And then I did attach these butterflies inside of the mirror, which I love as a nice little touch. It's so girly. And now I'm gonna show you guys how I organize the dresser. So this first one is going to be newborn diapers. It's always going to be filled with diapers. I currently have three brands to try right now. I have Loves in here. I'm not sure if these are gonna work, but I have Hello Bello to start off with, and then I will use these, and then I also have Huggies to get through. All newborn size. I only opened one package because I didn't want to waste the diapers if they didn't work. And then I also have these nursery deodorizers, and I do have one in the diaper pail right now. And then the second, drawer is all of the wipes that I have. I do have more in my room and then more in the closet, but I wanted to fit as much as I could in here. And there's definitely a ton. There's a lot of different brands, Huggies, Dove, Hello Bello, Pampers, just a ton for me to try. So I wanted to fill this up as much as possible so that I would always have a pack here. This third one is going to be a mixture of things. So in the back, I have all of her teether toys, teether rings, her wubba nub, her teething toys and mitts. And I left them all packaged because I'm not sure what she's going to like. And then I also have pacifiers here. I got a ton of these and I kept them in their package because again, I'm not sure if she's going to like any of these and I don't want them to go to waste if I need to give them away. And then I did also stick one of these organizers in here from Ikea with all of her pacifier clips. So she has quite a few in there. And then this container here, I did put the scub organizers 
in all of the drawers from Ikea just to help organize things. And I have her medicines in here, Tylenol, Ibuprofen, saline spray, um, saline nose drops, things like that. And then I do have some samples to go through as well. And then in here, I do have more health and safety things. Her butt paste, I do have a couple of different brands. Vitamin D drops, which will help if you breastfeed. You have to do this if you breastfeed. Um, a butt paste applicator, some soothing gel, and then of course a thermometer. And I did go with the VIX Speed Read. Then the next one is going to be all of her grooming stuff and things for the bath. So in this one, I have all of her sample sized lotions and shampoos body washes, things like that, things that I got from my registry bag. And then I also have the white hot safety duck. That's for her bath, just to ensure that the bath water is the way it's supposed to be. And then in this one, I have some emery boards, a nasal aspirator, a banana teether, the Frida baby cradle cap comb. And then I do have her mini brush and comb. And then of course her little um, nail clippers at the bottom. I do also have a, another container here with these infant safety Q-tips for boogies or for cleaning out the ears. And then I do have all of her body lotions and body washes. I'm not sure which brand I'm going to use, but as you can see, I have Aveeno and Hello Bello, some baby magic, and I'm gonna try to use Johnson & Johnson's. I'm not sure how I feel about it, but we're definitely just gonna try. And I have enough <laughs> lotions and body washes to last me like a lifetime. So definitely plenty of choices there. This is going to be all of her onesies and her pants. So I did size them. Um, in the back, you're gonna see newborn. And then I do have zero to three. Again, newborn pants and zero to three. And then over here I have more zero to three and the same with the pants. I did the Marie Kondo method in organizing. I know it probably won't stay like this, but I wanted to be able to see everything. And this way it was a lot easier for me. I was able to keep outfits together and size them as best as possible. And those are pretty much all of the outfits that I couldn't hang up. Next is another drawer of clothes. <laughs> and here I have all of her newborn and zero to three month sleepers, all neatly folded. And I do have a couple of sleep sacks in there as well. And then here I have more of zero to three sleepers as well. They're kind of just mixed between the two from smallest to largest, but I just have things up to three months in here. So nothing bigger than three months to start off with. And here I have all of her socks. She has a ton, a ton of socks, and it'll be great because it's going to be fall and winter when she's born, so I definitely wanted to have plenty of socks for her. And then in here, I do have her mittens. I do have a couple pairs packed away in the hospital bag, and then I also have her hats, so definitely need those items for fall and winter. Pretty much all year round, your baby has to be dressed in one layer more than you, so Super great to have these so they don't scratch themselves and then just the hats as well, so. Moving down to this drawer right here. This is a little bit of everything in here. I have a couple of her fuzzy blankets. Believe it or not, she has them all over the house. I have one in her hospital bag, her nursery nook. I have one here on the glider. So these are just a couple of extra blankets that I have washed. And then in here I have her milestone blanket which I can't use until she's in the months, but I combine that with some of her muslin blankets in here. And then in the center, I have the changing pad liner that goes in the diaper bag. I didn't have room for it, so I put it in here. And then I do have one of the Snuggle Me covers. I think I'm just gonna leave it coverless and just use blankets. They're kind of expensive and this doesn't match with the room, so I think I'm just gonna leave it blank. <laughs> and then back here, I do have some muslin swaddles. I have a couple in here, just two that I got from the bump boxes and I washed those and folded them neatly. I think we'll just swaddle her for nap time in those. And then of course the actual swaddles will be used when she's asleep. And then again in here, I just have some more muslin receiving blankets, which are always a must. 
And in the last drawer, this is like one of my favorites, the way that it's organized. I know it probably won't stay like this, but a girl can dream, right? So on the side here, just tucked away, I have two of her hooded towels. I only have a couple for her. So this is a Cloud Island one. And then this one is just another brand. And here I have all of her bibs. And believe it or not, she has a lot of bibs. She has actually more than this. These are just the ones that I wanted out and that could fit in here so that I could see them. But she has so many bibs. Like it's an insane amount. <laughs> um, and then in here, these are all of her washcloths for the bath, which I kind of kept in the same area as the grooming stuff for the bath. And then I do have all of her washcloths and these two. Again, she got a lot of these as well, but I just put as many as I could fit comfortably in here. And again, everything is organized with the scub organizers. And then back here, I have her laundry bag, boppy covers, extra changing pad covers, uh, changing pad liners, bassinet sheets, and one extra crib sheet. And that's pretty much where I'm going to keep all of the extras um, just to have. They aren't washed yet, but I wanted them to be neatly stored in there so that I knew where I could reach and grab. All right, so moving into the second section of the room, this is where I will spend most of my time, more than likely because of the glider. My friend Haley gifted me this glider and I love it. It's so comfortable and it comes with the ottoman for my feet. I did just put this soft white blanket on here. It is pretty chilly in here, so I definitely wanna make sure that we are bundled up when we're in here. And then I also have this heartbeat bear that I got from my 3D ultrasound with her heartbeat in it. Super cute. <laughs> and then this is the ever so famous bow rack. My mom pretty much did majority of this and then I just hooked the bows onto the rack. Like I said, this girl has so many bows and I tried to color coordinate them and keep the same brands and same kinds together the best that I could. I created this bow rack for around $15 from Ikea super easy you just drill it into the wall and i love that it's like the focal point of this wall <laughs> and then here i do have a picture that my friend hannah painted for me so talented says girl boss like my mama i love the gold detailing i definitely have some aspects of gold in here if you haven't caught the drift it is pretty much floral and butterfly themed you will see more hints of butterfly as we get through the room, but I did get this nightstand from Facebook Marketplace. Pretty great condition. I bought it for like 10 or 15 bucks, and I do have just the gray blackout curtains. Babies sleep better with curtains, so I definitely want to incorporate those in here, and then I also have a pair in the nursery. Again, these pink cubes are from Facebook Marketplace as well. And I don't have anything in here right now. I think I'm just gonna leave it blank for things when I'm in here breastfeeding or just hanging out in her room. I definitely don't want to take up space in there. And then in here, I do have my little breastfeeding station. I do have one in my room as well, but I do have breast pads and everything for breastfeeding. Lactation treats breast milk storage bags, all of the fun stuff. <laughs> and then on top, I do have a picture of my baby from a 3D ultrasound we did at 32 weeks, I believe. And I love it. It's just in this pink frame that I got from Hobby Lobby. And then you can't hardly see this, but I did get this LED light from Amazon. It's in the shape of a butterfly. I only got it because I saw online that they had a shade of pink that it kind of lit up as. And you just press this button and it comes on, but it needs to be plugged in in order for it to work, which I kind of don't like. <laughs> and they don't have a pink shade. So it kind of was disappointing. The only reason I got this is because it was a pretty soft pink shade and come to find out it doesn't even have a pink shade. So <laughs> that is just a cute little touch that I have on top of here. Eventually we will bring in the hatch sound machine in here when she is in here so that I have a nightlight, but I love this little section for comfort. Next is going to be her storage area. I have her books, her toys, and her stuffed animals in this area and some other cute little details. So first we're gonna talk about the top. 
I got these pictures from Amazon and I put them into frames. And then I did get these 3D butterflies off of Amazon as well and stuck them in such a way to kind of lead up to the pictures, which I really, really love. Again, more of the floral with the pops of butterfly in here. And then I do have a letter board. When you're seeing this, I will have less than 24 days. So really, really exciting. I'll have around three weeks when you guys see this, but I love that little touch. And then my friend Mackenzie made this. She is so talented. I just added this into the room and I love it. This is a picture from one of my maternity shoots and I love it so much. I can't wait to have one with me holding my daughter. I think that is so special and I loved how it looked on top. And then moving into the actual storage cube, I did pick this up off of Facebook Marketplace in great condition. I wiped everything down and it is pretty much brand new. And I use this as a book collection as well as her stuffed animals and toys. So plenty of books here. I did find this at Dollar Tree, surprisingly. They had a bunch of different animals and of course they had a pink butterfly and I had to get it. <laughs> and then I do have more books down here. And then she has a ton of stuffed animals in here in Lovies and so many things that are good for comfort items. And then I do have a lot of her toys in here, teether toys, things that I can attach to the stroller, things that she just can't play with yet. Then over in this corner, I have her hamper for her laundry. I did pick up that hamper from Amazon, super affordable. And then I do have this chair kind of as decoration. It's definitely able to be stood on and set in, but she won't obviously be able to do that until she's, you know, walking. But I loved the blush pink color and I like the fabric. It's definitely different. I picked that up from Hobby Lobby. Pretty pricey for a chair, not gonna lie, but I will link it down below if you guys are interested. I loved that it was just a nice little touch in this corner. Next is her crib area, and I'm not gonna be able to show you guys everything because it reveals her name. I am gonna go ahead and show it and just kind of block it out, but this is her crib. It's the Ikea crib. And I do have a quilt that my grandmother hand sewed us, which is super special. It has animals on it and bunnies and just so neat to have. And it's such a great material. Inside, I do have a regular mattress with just a white sheet and the Snuggle Me. Again, I don't think I'm gonna put a cover on it. I think I actually like it better now that it doesn't have one. And I can just put blankets and stuffed animals and things like that on it and supervised sleeps will be done in the Snuggle Me. Definitely just something to lounge in, not really to sleep in, unless you're right there by your baby. <laughs> and then I do have this nice little lovey in here that says thank heaven for little girls. I know none of these items will be in here when she is born, but she also won't be in this crib either. And then also, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I do have some storage underneath here. I definitely want to get a crib skirt here. Um, a lot of people don't even do those anymore, but I do have the stroller underneath there because I didn't have any other storage for it, but this is what's above her crib. I don't want you guys to see it. My friend Hannah painted me this. It is so gorgeous. It's shades of pink. And then I put these big white roses right underneath it. She did paint this the way that I wanted it. So I just attached those roses to the side just to add a little bit of something to it. And she did paint the name in gold and accented it with gold painting. So I can't wait to show you guys that. I'm just waiting a couple more weeks to reveal her name until she's born. Over here, I do have her rocker. I love this. My friend Olivia got this for me. It has butterflies on it and floral and it's pink and it's girly. And I just actually set that up a week or two ago. And then I do have this lamp here. Then moving into her closet. I love her closet. It's so, so well organized. And up here, I do have extra blankets. Again, this girl has tons of blankets, so I put them in the first bin. All right, in the second one, she does have extra bibs and burp cloths, washcloths, rags, things like that. I just didn't have enough room for them, so I put everything in that one. And then in here, she does have a ton of feeding stuff when she switches to solids, play mats, um, forks, spoons, all the things, 
all the things. <laughs> and then right here, I do have three memorabilia boxes that I got as gifts from the baby showers. Almost every single box has something special in it. And I'm keeping things from her hospital stay and when she's born and as she grows up. And I'm hoping when she turns 18, I have a nice box for her that she can look through. So next is her clothes. This girl has so much clothes. It is absolutely ridiculous. And I did separate them with these organizers that I got from Amazon. Zero to three months, three to six, six to nine, and so on. And when I tell you she even has outfits for when she's like a year and a half or two years old, I am so serious. This girl has so much clothes. <laughs> and then below we do just have a stockpile of diapers and wipes. Anytime that I get the chance, I am out buying diapers and wipes aside from what I got from the baby shower just so that I have them. A lot of the times it is gentle, fragrance-free wipes, but I also have some in the back you just can't see because there's so many. <laughs> um, I have the Snuggle Me box, the Fisher Price Sit Me Up floor seat, things that she can't use until she's a little bit older. I have some Dreft and some extra bottle cleaners in the back the pack and play. And then here, this is what I'm going to do. I have this bin that I got from Dollar Tree and this is the next size up. I believe these are three to six months or six months. So before my maternity leaves up, I will get all of this stuff washed and either hung up or put into the dresser. And same with the clothes up here. Once I am, you know, into that section and she's grown into those things, I will get the things off of the closet rack and wash. So I do just have some other things in here. This is also gonna be out, but I need to finish put putting it together. It kind of kicked my butt and I just need help with it. <laughs> and then I do have her um, swivy seat, which is her high chair, her other infant rocker, and then some other breastfeeding supplies and things that I just can't use right now. I just love that this is pretty much the only storage that I have and it worked. <laughs> and then on the other side, which I'm not going to show you, is just storage. I keep the vacuum in here and that's pretty much it. Right here, I got these two plaques wall decors. I got a heart and a butterfly, clearly, <laughs> from Hobby Lobby when they were on sale. And I just used this one as a towel holder. All right, guys, and that concludes the nursery tour. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope it wasn't too long. I hope I didn't ramble, and I'm so sorry that I'm out of breath. <laughs> Pregnancy is a real thing, okay? And not being able to breathe, it's a lot. So, <laughs> Give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it, and I will see you guys in the next one.